As I said earlier, I've appointed an inquiry team to look into the operations of the school division and provide further information that will allow me to make decisions with respect to the future of the Northwest. The current members of the uh, inquiry team are Dr. David Van Tamela, former Secretary, Treasurer, and Superintendent of the uh, Schools of the Peace River School Division. Nathan Matthew, uh, from BC, First Nations Representative on the Education Advisory Council to BC's uh, Minister of Education. And Keith Wagner, former Deputy Superintendent for Curriculum with the Grand Prairie School District. At a later date, I may choose to appoint additional members to the inquiry team if, uh, if need arises for additional specialized skills. And again, I'm particularly cognizant of the process of local government and the importance of school councils to each of the communities involved in terms of their sense of local governance. We may want to have someone on the inquiry team who can specifically address the local governance issue. The inquiry team will focus on student achievement, governance, instructional and administrative leadership of the division. The team will take up to six months to complete its work and will provide its recommendations in a final report to need for further action. There is no predetermined outcome for what will happen in Northlands. The process will be consultative, it will be collaborative, involving local school committee members, school division staff, administration, teachers, parents, students, and the local community. I have committed to being available to visit each of the communities involved, uh, if that's appropriate, if the judicial trustee wants me to do that, to make it clear that this is about working with the local community to make sure that there's a high value for education and that we're supporting that value and the local education in the highest way that we can to make sure that each and every one of their students has the opportunity to succeed. To gain a better understanding of the situation and facilitate transformational change within the division, within the division, we fully need to engage the local school committees, school division staff, administrators, teachers, parents, and students as critical partners. We recognize that working with First Nations, Métis, and Inuit leadership and their communities is necessary for systemic change to occur. 95% of the students within the division are First Nation and Métis, and they are entitled to as solid an education as every other Alberta. The current situation in Northland School Division is not benefiting FNMI students to the fullest. I'm deeply concerned about this, as I've made FNMI education a ministry with a personal priority. I'm hopeful by working in partnership with the FNMI leadership and their communities, we can set the stage to transform FNMI education in the division and also where the appropriate, where appropriate for the province. As you'll know, we've established a partnership council with Treaty 6, 7, 8, and the Métis Settlements General Council and Métis Nations of Alberta, Bahia and others. And our focus is about creating a priority for education uh, within the FNMI community and ensuring that we're using best practices and that we're engaging fully in making sure that the gap between FNMI education results and those of other Albertans is closed. I believe the inquiry team can thoroughly and objectively examine all of the presenting issues in Northlands, but we must recognize that we do not have all the answers. The feedback and advice that we receive from everyone who participates in this important process is fundamental to making true transformative change in the division. It's to all come together to focus first and foremost on what's in the best interest of the students. Clearly, more needs to be done to improve student learning and achievement. Developing a plan for this to occur is the top, top priority for the official trustee in an area in which the inquiry will focus. Alberta Education will continue to work closely with the Northland School Division, including providing a significant support to the review team and the, trust, and the official trustee. Alberta Education will uh, make sure that this opportunity, uh, and I look at it as an opportunity, to really highlight the concerns that we have in this area, look at the causes behind them, look at the barriers to success, and make sure we understand what resources are needed to ensure that each and every one of those children, <coughs> whether from a First Nation or a Métis settlement, or whether of Aboriginal background off the uh, First Nation or off settlement, or whether from a non-Aboriginal background, that every one of those children has the opportunity to get access to the educational resources that they need, the educational opportunities that they need to be successful. That is the only way we will break the poverty cycle, that is the only way we will 
the, uh, the, uh, the trend uh, that's, that's established. And I'm hopeful that with the introduction of the FNMI teacher training program announced last year, this will result in more local community members joining the Northland teaching force, staying within their communities to be role models and mentors in their community. Although there will be many questions, some challenges, any questions as to whether this is the right way to go, I'm convinced that it's important for all of us involved in this change to keep our eyes on the goal of strengthening the education system for the children in our communities. Thank you.